So what's going on in there, Saki? I only just got here myself. We still don't know what exactly is happening inside, but according to those who have escaped, there were gray space entities in there. Gray space entities? How did those things get into Mororia? I sent someone to check Mororia's external defenses, and there's no sign of a breach. Nor is there any sign of a gray space entity's invasion. It's like they just materialized out of thin air. There are currently some issues with the building's internal power supply. Some floors have lost all their powers, while the security and monitoring systems are malfunctioning. I'm arranging a floor-by-floor -floor inspection. There's no time for that. Our priority is to secure those samples. You know I have limited manpower. I need to maintain order, get the crowd out of here, and lessen any negative impacts of the attack. I'll think of something. Has Dr. Clive been informed of what's going on? He's on his way. He'd been resting at the research center, and was thankfully not caught up in any of this. Okay, good. Saki, you take your team and look for survivors on each floor. We'll take over the investigation. Understood. However, you should note that the lift to the conference venue is also currently malfunctioning. You can find and restart the power supply on the ground floor, which should fix the problem. What? What do you want? Careful, it's too dangerous! Yeah! 
The scene is secure, and most of the injured are receiving treatment. Unfortunately, the cause of the incident is not yet known, so the press conference will have to be postponed. How's Dr. Clive? I reckon that this could be connected to that artificial Christamax he extracted. He's got a few scratches, nothing serious. He's been taking to headquarters to be patched up. Larson wants us to go there and ascertain the cause of all this. Let's go then.
Dr. Clive, I need a straight answer. Can you guarantee that the artificial Christomax is safe now? Archon, during the incident, the Christomax displayed a field ability hitherto unseen in all of our experiments. We need to conduct more comprehensive tests on the sample, and until we do, I am unable to guarantee that it's safe. Dr. Clive, do you have any idea about what could have caused this? That creature in the hall was actually an artificial Christomax parasite in a singer-type droid. It even displayed sentience, which is something a normal Christomax from a gray space entity could never have. What's more, after successfully taking control of its host, that Christomax displayed a field ability we had not seen before. It was totally beyond anything we could have imagined. We incorporated tissue samples from three known abyssins in cultivating this Christomax, but none of them had this ability to pass through solid walls, so... This Christomax seems to have evolved new field abilities during its development. This trait is something we've never seen or even considered before, I admit. Perhaps I was too optimistic and let myself get a little careless. I will take full responsibility for this incident. Moreover, reports from the scene indicate that the out-of-control Abyssin displayed some abnormal behavior before it was defeated. Our information suggests that it seems to possess human-like intelligence, acts with purpose, and even makes human-sounding noises. Lin, you were the closest to that thing. Do you think it possessed a level of intelligence similar to our own? I'm sorry, Archon. Nothing really jumped out at me. While its behavior was certainly out of the ordinary, I don't think it really has the ability to communicate with us. After all, it's not a real grayspace entity, just an artificial Christomax, a parasite on a mechanical host. Perhaps it was unconsciously imitating our behavior, and merely mimicking human noises. Gray space entities are communicating with humans. In all of my research, I've never even heard of such a thing. I think I have a good grasp of what transpired now. Our forensics team is analyzing the scene as we speak, and might be able to find something of value. Dr. Clive, I've ordered the artificial Christomax to be transferred to the secure lab at headquarters. You may conduct subsequent safety tests there. I shall be keenly awaiting the results. I believe that covers everything for today. Dismissed. Was there anything else? Actually, Lin, that abyssant. At the time, I felt like it was trying to communicate with us too. It also wasn't displaying a clear intention to attack. Before Dr. Clive fired the first shot, at least. Huh. So you also think it was trying to talk to us? Miss Lin, it might be a good idea to suggest Archon Larson and Dr. Clive pay more attention to this idea. Hmm. I'll certainly bear your suggestions in mind. Thank you. <laughs>